Hello, uh, today I'm going to be making a video uh, concerning Morgellons disease. Uh, it's a disease, well, you can look it up, I don't really have time to explain it. But, uh, so the idea is uh, here in this video is I'm going to do the self-test um, using Merlot, Merlot uh, wine, uh, Foxhorn, Fox, Foxhorn, Foxhorn Merlot wine. Uh, anyway, the idea is that you can do a self-test by swishing around grape juice in your mouth or uh, any type of dark grape wine and uh, when you spit out the whatever you, you swish around you'll see little uh, fibers in your spit and so some people believe that these are the Morgellons uh, fibers and they're being pulled from your lips and tongue and, and roof of your mouth and, and those kinds of things um, but uh, I have a different theory and I believe that uh, that's what you see when you spit out these self tests uh, is actually just a normal reaction between your saliva and something in the grape juice I don't know um, but in order to, de to demonstrate that today uh, I have some Merlot wine and uh, I have a small glass full of my spit which is kind of disgusting I know but uh, so my idea is that if I have spit in a cup and I mix it with uh, wine and I stir it around for a little bit it should produce the same results as swishing around the wine in my mouth. So I'll do the test side by side and uh, we'll see what we get. So here let me show you my things. Let me actually spit one more time. It's really gross, I'm sorry. But um, so here you see uh, here you see I have the Merlot. I have a glass with spit in it. And I have a glass of wine which is pretty good for a really, really cheap wine, Walmart wine. Um, and so I have my two plates. So this one I will swish around in my mouth, spit it out. This one I will swish around in the cup and pour it out and we'll see what we get. So uh, what I'll do right now is I'll take a swish or take a swig, I'll swish it around in my mouth. And at the same time, I'll pour some in of this wine into the spit filled cup. <laughs> and uh, I'll stir it around and uh, so you can see me do these things and after about a minute I'll pour it out and we'll see what we get alright bottoms up So, here you can see what I just spit out. See this right here, this is what, this is what everyone is referring to as Morgellons. These little fibers that come with Morgellons. And so this is the plate that just came out of my mouth. Uh, it's really gross, again, I'm sorry, but that's just, that's how science works. Sometimes it's gross. Anyway, so here you can see that this stuff, and it's really not, I mean it's just slimy, it's just slimy stuff and um, I personally think it's you know it's the grape juice just solidifying with whatever's in the saliva so um, I hope you don't think this is gross it's my spit anyway um, so now let's take a look at this other glass that I spit into and mixed it up 
so that it had no contact with my mouth and it had no opportunity to pull these threads out of uh, my tongue or my cheeks or anything like that. So here we go. Oh, look at that. And it's the exact same stuff that came out of my mouth. So, it looks a little different, but I don't know how much saliva was actually in my mouth when I switched it around and versus how much was in the glass. But as you can see, the exact same reaction happened in either situation. So, you had the same, the, the gooey stuff that people call Morgellons, and you had the gooey stuff that people call Morgellons. When in this plate, I switched it around, and in this plate, I spit into a cup, and I poured the wine in there, and I mixed it up, and it came out with the exact same result. So, this video neither proves nor disproves Morgellons disease, and I didn't come into this video with that um, idea anyway. Um, but I do want to, I did want to point out that this, this uh, grape juice test isn't what it seems, and that people are getting really scared over something that might just be a natural reaction anyway. And uh, so if you've done this test, then I want you to take a second look at it. Um, do this test yourself. It's really easy. Just spit in the cup for 10 minutes and then pour grape juice in it, stir it around and see what you get. Now, some people could argue that the Morgellons is in the spit itself, um, but uh, I just don't know. Uh, you know, I don't know. No one knows enough about Morgellons to, uh, you know, make that claim. Um, so anyway, I have shown at the very least that uh, whatever this stuff is in the grape juice, this, this solid stuff after you spit it out, it's not coming out of your lips. It's not coming out of your tongue. It's not coming out of your chin or face or anything like that. Uh, but it is, it is something that's in your saliva that's causing this. And it could be more gallons. I doubt it. I highly doubt it. I think it's a natural process. Um, I remember as a kid doing the same thing because I was amazed and grossed out by like swishing around my grape juice and spitting it on the ground and my mother would hate me for it but you know that's part of being a kid so <laughs> anyway um, I made this video not to prove nor disprove more gallons and I think it's a very serious uh, subject that needs to, to have a have a more uh, have a deeper deeper look be, be looked into deeper by uh, science but um, I'm not I'm not that kind of scientist, so <laughs> um, that's up to doctors and that kind of stuff. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this is enlightening. And um, like I said, if you don't believe me, you should try the test yourself because um, it's very simple. It's very cheap. You, know, you can try. Uh, they say organic grape juice is the best, uh, but I used uh, I used Foxhorn <laughs> Merlot wine partly because uh, I love wine uh, and. Uh, and mostly because it was the cheapest thing they had. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video.